Hey guys, it's Brian. Uh, in this video, I just wanted to talk a little bit about renting a car uh, for wheelchair users. There's some things you gotta think about uh, before you rent and just kinda wanted to go over those. Uh, first things first, your hand controls. How are you going to drive the car? Uh, there are uh, cars that you can rent with hand controls already installed, but if you want something like this, like a, a sports car, uh, you're gonna have to get your own hand controls. Um, most cars that have built-in hand controls are gonna be like a full-size car, kinda like a Chevy Impala or something like that. Uh, for me, I'm in California, I wanted to make sure that I could rent a convertible just because it's gorgeous weather out here. Uh, so you're gonna need something like this. Um, these are my portable hand controls. I have uh, shown these before in other videos, uh, but basically it's one rod that goes down to the gas, you're pressing with your thumb. The other one uh, is the brake, you're pressing forward. Now these controls can be used with either your left hand uh, like that, or I prefer to use them with my right hand because that's the side that I drive on in my regular car. Another good thing about getting your own controls is you will be fami familiar with them as opposed to other controls. I rented a car one time that had um, the controls on the left. Like I said, I'm not used to those. So it almost felt like it was a little more dangerous since I wasn't you know, familiar with them. The other thing you're gonna wanna make sure you do, uh, I highly suggest if you know what kind of car you're going to rent, that you test drive it at home before you actually get to your destination and figure out that your controls won't work. <laughs> that was the particular case with this car. Uh, this is a Ford Mustang. I noticed that the clamps for the pedals, uh, the bolts, which are actual wing nuts, were not long enough, so I had to get extended bolts. Um, but one thing that is great about these extended bolts is I tighten them with a wrench or ratchet rather than just by hand. So that gives you a little more peace of mind because you can make them quite a bit tighter. Uh, another thing I did want to mention is make sure that you test the controls once you get them on the car before you drive away. Uh, I learned that the hard way because I rented a Camaro convertible two years ago and I was so excited to get in the car and I just threw the hand controls on. Didn't realize that the accelerator was a really, really close to the edge of the carpet. And about an hour into my trip, I used the gas, the gas got stuck to the floor, and I got in an accident. So uh, just word to the wise, make sure that you, before you even start the car, that you press the gas all the way to the floor, press the brake all the way to the floor, wiggle them around, make sure they're not going anywhere because that's something you really don't want to have happen. Uh, pretty much ruined half of the first day of our vacation. Um, the other thing I kind of wanted to talk about is making sure that you can fit your wheelchair into the car. Uh, for this particular car, I was able to get the wheels in the back. Uh, we throw the cushion in the trunk just because there was extra room, but there's also luggage in the trunk for the trip. Um, so make sure if you're going on a long trip like we are, that all your luggage is gonna fit when you're doing the test drive. Uh, another thing I would suggest doing if you're gonna rent a car is buying the lost damage waiver. Uh, it is kind of insurance for the car. Basically, if anything happens to the car, it'll cover the car. You won't have to get your insurance involved. Um, the only thing you would have to use your insurance for is if you hit another vehicle. But the lost damage waiver, I think for this car, was about 10 or $15 extra a day. But for that added peace of mind, uh, if you're in an unfamiliar area, we've been in LA, we've been in San Francisco, huge populated areas that you don't know what kind of traffic you're gonna run into. And it's really tight quarters compared to what I'm used to driving. So I feel a lot better about having that added, added insurance. Um, again, just make sure that you test drive it first, make sure everything's going to fit, and you'll have a great trip. So if you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot.